What's up, you guys? Man, it's your boy TRS18. Your favorite, who your favorite, what your favorite, this your favorite, that. I don't care what you call me. BA is fine. And didn't I tell you guys I was gonna bring back story time with TRS18? You know I'll do anything for you guys. Okay. Said I know you want the Audi. I know you wanna go to Maui. You would know your girlfriend is the one you never bring around me. Cause you don't trust me like your last man. Did he open T Squad and motherfucking better stand up? Oh, squad stand up side while we walk through. And today, you guys are probably wondering about the title. What you mean, girls confusing? Exactly what I said in the title. Girls are freaking confusing. So recently, I have a friend named Amber. Me and Amber go way back. I mean, way back when her group used to fuck with my group and we used to like, literally everybody in that group dated somebody in my group and whatever. And we met through there. Me and Amber grew close. I just spit, oh my God. Me and Amber grew closer to each other when the group started separating and everybody won't really mess with each other no more. Me and Amber grew closer together. Amber, uh, you know, she actually, She's in college now, so she met a whole nother group of friends. She's still hanging with some of her old friends, but she ain't with a new crowd of friends. And recently, me and Amber been hanging out a lot, you know? And I've been hanging out and meeting her new friends. Now, it's one of her friends that I met. I don't want to say her name because I don't want Amber to, or like any of her friends to come on my YouTube channel and see it. I mean, once she see this video, she's going to know who it is. Like, school, she's going to know. But she's gonna know who I'm talking about, right? I met one of her friends, and I, by far, she is so freaking adorable, la la la. She is so freaking adorable, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. First of all, Amber was telling me how she's cool when she's around her friends. Like, she's talking, like, not talking to, but, you know, very out there, you know, to, you know, feel comfortable talking to, whatever, right? But when it comes to dudes coming around, she gets a little shy, right? We met, uh, we met up, we were going to this party for my boy's birthday, right? So we met up. I looked at all the girls from what I thought, it was two girls who were lesbians, and it was two girls who was, wasn't. So one girl came, kinda came off as like, I put her as in the friend zone. Like she's she's cute, but she's pretty cool, you feel me? But then this other girl I seen her, and I was just like, who is this girl in the white shorts? Cause her, I mean, look, look, look. to keep it between me and y'all, her ass was hella fat, bro. No lie. And I'm like, who is this girl in the white shorts? So I asked Amber, I'm like, Amber, who is this girl in the white shorts? And Amber's like, yo, this so-and-so. And I was like, so-and-so about to be new bae, you feel me? Like, I'm about to introduce her to T-Squad because it's about to be new bae, all right? So, we walk in, we walk in, and she's somewhat like, me and her just keep staring at each other. We keep looking, and we look away. And I'm looking at each other, look away. Like on some cute, on some cute type shit, you feel me? On some cute shit, okay, you feel me? You know, we just looking at each other, da 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 da. And I'll be in the back, and she'll like kind of fall back a little bit. I guess wanted me to say something to her, but I'm not gonna even lie, I was a tad bit nervous. I just got a notification. Tad bit nervous, I'm not gonna even lie, I was a little bit nervous, right? So then I just was like, so I talked to her with her, I was like, hey, how you, how you doing? She was like, hey, and she a blush, and I was just like, ah, oh, that's cute, baby girl, that's cute, that's so cute. So we conversated and stuff, everything going good. So then I was like, I ain't gonna really be pushing up all up on her, so I backed up a little bit. We enter the party, we get into our little corner, right? And she's dancing in front of me, like, she a low-key, like, same as, like, she a low-key, like, dance, and then she'll laugh and smile, and her friends will just stop, and just, she'll just stand there, she'll rock. She'll rock back and forth, she'll. And then she'll randomly start dancing. And like, controller came on, right? Y'all know how I get when controller come on. Controller come on, I get into a frisk mode. And I had a little bit of Henny in my system. Oh. But anyway, so she get a little freaky. I mean, no, she didn't get freaky. I got a little freaky. And I was like, like. Like controller, controller. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting in the mood. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving around this shit. She started moving around. I'm just like, all right, well, you're doing it in front of me. I'm going to get it up. So, I got up on her, and she kind of did it for, like, two seconds and stopped. Like, she just... But didn't want to turn around, because I guess she knew that, like, she just stopped in the middle of control. Like, you feel me? So, we didn't do that. We were just sitting there, and I'm just like, cool. So, I felt kind of embarrassed. So, I just ain't doing nothing. I was just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. And she'll dance in front of me again. So I'm like, what the world is going on with this girl, son? 
So she'll do it again and then, then uh work work no like, just work 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 then that came on and then when Drake popped like, okay you need to get done 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 as soon as that part came on she literally backed it up on me she was killing it bruh I mean oh my god I felt like I just wanted to take her out the party and let her know how I feel but anyway party or whatever, then I had this skirt, I left her alone in the corner with her friends and stuff, and I went to go by myself, then I started messing with this other girl that me and her be fucking with each other a little bit, and you know, we fuck with each other a little bit here and there, but uh, it just besides the point, right? I didn't ask for the number, I didn't give no clues that I wanted the number, I just let time go by, right? So as time fly by, Amber invites me to a party down at her college or whatever, and I go, I go. I see, you know, Shawty with the white shorts, and again, we staring at each other, we giving each other the eye, and we just like, okay, let's see if we could do it again. Let's see if we could make a connection during round two, right? Okay, so we hanging around. This time we start falling back and we conversating, man. The group is in front of us, me and her just in the back chilling. Uh, then we went to uh, separate ourselves. We went to sit and we was talking. And in my opinion, the chemistry was great. She, all, she just kept blushing, she kept smiling. I just thought that was so adorable. I, but, but like, shy girls somewhat kind of annoy me, but it's some, it's some shy girls who just, I find so adorable, because I just feel like, it's a, like if you're putting the effort to try and talk to me again, but you're still kind of shy, I feel like that is really adorable. When you're like, uh, like extremely shy, that's when I'm just like, you're really not my type. I can I cannot deal with a shy girl. I really can't. Just kept being adorable and the stuff, and we were just walking. And look, we, we were going to this place called Wawa, which is a store, right? Cool, whatever. Um, the car was packed, and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna fit in there. I'll just drive behind y'all. And she didn't step in the car. She looked at the car at her friends, poked her head back out, and was like, you want me to ride with you? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, come ride with me, right? So again, I'm I'm like, all right, I drive a stick, and if you drive, if like people who ride in my car can tell you like, I'm not a crazy driver, but I, at the end of the day, when I'm done driving, you probably be like, bro, that shit scared me, but it was so fun, you know? So again, we talking, we conversating, the vibe is there. She's adorable. I'm feeling her so much. I don't know. I don't know if she was feeling me, but it looked like she was feeling me. So I felt like the vibe and chemistry was there. So we get to the uh, we get to the store, and then that's when I put my shit in reverse, and I start skirt, like backing through all the gas station uh, pumps or whatever, and I'm just you know trying to excite her, and she was kind of like her face was all like like it looked like she she was smiling, but she was like kind of nervous at the same time. Like I was kind of like scaring her at the same time. I wanted to make her feel just like excited or something. <laughs> So, were you scared? And she was like, yeah, that kind of scared the shit out of me. And I was like, uh-oh, oh shit. So we get in the store and I'm like, you want anything? She was like, no, I'm good. I'm like, you sure? You don't want a donut? You don't want no food? You don't want no chips, no drinks? She was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, I feel like I fucked up a little bit. I don't know, I feel like I fucked up trying to pull that little stunt. Cause every girl that been in my car that I did it to loved it. And I'm thinking like, maybe she just one of them girls that did not love it, right? I gave her a hug. I didn't want to put so much pressure on her, like, yo, is it cool if I get your number and we can text? I'll call you later. I didn't want to put too much pressure on her because she was already fucking shy as hell and I already fucked up doing a little stunt in my car or whatever. And uh, I guess like two two days passed. Like after that day, I texted my friend Amber and I was like, you know, let her know she could text me because I know she's shy. Whenever she feel comfortable, she could text me, right? So Amber said, okay, cool. Four days later, she never texted me. So I was like, well, why, why ain't my future babe texting me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is she doing? Amber had no clue what was going on or why she wouldn't text me, okay? So I'm like, okay, all right, cool. So, after that, well, I'm still trying to figure out in my head, well, what the fuck is going on? So I told Amber, I was like, well, fuck it, I don't care. In my, in, in my head, I really did care. I was like, you know, I really wanted to see where this could have went, or like, just got to chill with her some more before I just like it, like it ended it off like that. But she was all like, um, I don't know, so no, 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 I just don't know what she's doing. And I was like, maybe she just ain't feeling me no more. And then Amber was like, maybe. And I was like, oh fuck, if she said that, then damn, she might not be feeling me. So then Amber was like, but wait, she was feeling you at first, right? And I was like, yeah, we was feeling each other. She was like, 
maybe she just shy. So why don't you text her first? I was like, maybe, maybe that'll work. So I'll show you guys the screenshots. I have proof. This time, this is a recent thing, and this is present time, so I can finally show y'all the actual proof. So I have the screenshots or whatever. And hold on, wait, please tell me I did not delete it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So I'll show y'all the screenshots or whatever. I'll show y'all the gifts that we the, the, like the gifts, the, like animation gifts that we play. Cause I don't think it's gonna it's not gonna play in the screenshot. So I just put it on the screen somewhere or something, you know. And yeah, boom, right. So after this. After we was done texting, like after you see all the little uh, us texting on the screen, it was done after that. No more. I legit told her to text me back when you have some time to yourself or whenever you're free and available and text me back. She said, all right, LOL, and that was it. And I literally got on the phone with Amber like like maybe 10, 11 minutes later and was like, I don't think she's going to text me back. I showed her the screenshot. She was like, I mean, she might not. I said, bet $5 she's not going to text me back. And I legit just lost five dollars, everybody. So T Squad, if you can go to my YouTube channel and donate five fucking dollars to me, <laughs> I'm just fucking joking, bro. But I legit lost five dollars, and this girl, I guess, just not interested in me anymore. And it's kind of sucks, and it's kind of sad, but it's cool, or whatever. Thank you guys for tuning in every day. I love you guys. I, I love sharing my experiences with you. <coughs> I know I set up a vlog every day, and I'm really trying to vlog every day, but that shit is pretty hard, bro. Like, I need a whole new laptop in order to vlog and maintain my vlogs every day you guys i'm sorry i'm really trying my best bro but vlogs still are coming so don't don't believe i ever will sleep or never upload a vlog love you guys and until next time peace one love panda that's a wrap i came out that damn thing thinking that shit funny this nigga didn't beat his fucking dick and started bleeding i'ma turn this off one more time oh my god oh my god oh!